What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I am back to working on the Z because I'm trying to go drifting again. <laughs> I have not touched this thing since the crazy weekend of driving at Apple Valley Speedway. Uh, it's now Friday, so the car's been sitting for three or four days. Um, and I'm trying to go drifting tomorrow night. There is a night event at Adams uh, Motorsports Park down in Riverside. And I'm hoping to get this thing good enough to actually drive down there and then drive out the track and still make it back home. Uh, I mean, the car is pretty solid. If you guys remember from the end of the last video, I did drive it on track um, and did a few laps on that Sunday event. And the car felt good. The alignment was just off. Well, I figured out what was off and I'm in the middle of fixing it right now. Let me show you guys what I've done to kind of correct the issue. So you can see I have a ratchet strap around the lower control arm here, and that's because the bushing here, you can see it's not um, totally in the right spot. It kind of started to press itself out, and the lower control arm was actually pushed all the way up against this part of the subframe. So it was pushed all the way over, which threw the alignment off because then that kind of changes the angle of the lower control arm. So I'm using a ratchet strap to actually pull it um, back into the center. And I'm hoping that will give me the room I need to get the alignment squared. Now, of course, the correct way to fix this is just to throw a new lower control arm on that has fresh bushings and isn't totally blown out like that thing. And I ordered new lower control arms when I saw that this was an issue a few days ago. And in typical fashion, Amazon promised one day shipping and it's been two and a half days. <laughs> so it looks like they're not gonna be here in time. Um, I was hoping they'd be here today, that way I can get this done right now, but they're not. I actually work tomorrow and I'm hoping to drive straight from work to the track, which is a little risky, but either way, this is gonna have to work. So I'm hoping to get it straightened, get the alignment square, and we'll take it from there. Just went on a little drive, maybe like a six or seven mile loop kind of in my area. Did some freeway speeds down some straight roads and the car feels great. It drives straight. The alignment is pretty spot on. Honestly, it drives better than it has in a long time as far as driving on the street goes. Um, so I think we're all set. I've got a few more little things to kind of clean up. I'm going to get the bumper back on and I think we're going to be ready to drift tomorrow night. Fingers crossed everything goes well. I can make the drive out to Riverside. It's like, uh, I don't know, 50 or 60 miles out there. And then obviously my car survives at the track and gets me back home. <laughs> it's going to be the first time putting the Z through a test like that. So like I said, fingers crossed it works. Either way, I will catch you guys tomorrow when I'm off work and on the road to the track. Well, the Z made the drive all the way down to Riverside. We are at Adams Motorsports Park. We're in the staging lanes right now. About to get my first couple laps in. I'll let you know how they go. First couple laps down. I forgot how tight this track is. You really got to be careful to stay on it. <laughs> First couple laps down, starting to feel pretty comfortable. This track's very short, very narrow, pretty technical, but really fun. I already went flying off track once. I got a little greedy on uh, the last like hairpin and slammed into a tire in the dirt. The, the first tire marks on the car are from crashing into a tire. <laughs> Just dirt dropped a little too hard. I thought I bent a wheel. Look what I did. So quick overview of the track here. You leave the staging lanes, go straight into a quick U-turn, and then you drive down this kind of short straight. You can tell I'm going a little slower than I should. 
enter here, it's a big horseshoe. It goes all the way around, and then it goes to this kind of uh, like a smaller U-turn. They call it the bus stop. After the bus stop is this long sweeper. You really have to carry your speed through here to get through it all. You can tell I kind of messed that part up. And that right there was the hardest part of the track. It's a really quick back and forth hairpin. And then to just a kind of mellow turn, and then you're down to the shutdown. driving at night. I felt like I was doing so good just an hour ago and now that the sun's down, I'm really struggling. <laughs> home the z made the drive to and from adams it shredded while it was there i think the total miles was right around 200 which is awesome that's the furthest i've ever driven this thing and to be able to drive it to an event drive two sessions there and come home super exciting and it's a big test for the car because i plan on doing a pretty big road trip next month so get excited Subscribe if you're not already because that is going to be a cool series of videos and overall I'm just really excited with how well the Z has held up I'm gonna take this thing to the car wash because it is filthy and I finally have some free time today to wash it between driving out there and just all the dirt from the track and Maybe dirt dropping a few times. <laughs> it's definitely due for a wash. This trip was so much fun I know it may seem insignificant just to kind of drive out of town do a little drift event and drive back home but for me, it really solidified the fact that the Z is just a great car. You know, when I first got this thing, I really didn't know um, really the history of it, the history of the engine, how well it was going to hold up, if it was going to last at all. And I'm just so thankful that it's become such a great car. It's something I can drive to work. It's something I could shred at the track. It's something I can drive to the track. And it's, it's really exciting. I'm really happy with the way the car is coming together, and I'm excited for the future of it. Like I had mentioned in that previous clip, I have plans for a pretty big road trip next month, so get excited about that. Make sure you're subscribed because it is going to be super cool. As always, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. Give it a thumbs up if you did, and as always, I'll catch you in the next one.